Let's start with our artist prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Dear God, help me to create wonderful things. Thank you for blessing me with my talents. Amen. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. All right, third graders, today is day two of our Angie Rosalar Winter Cats. We will be finishing our cats today. So today we're going to be adding the element of art of color. We will be coloring our cats. I also want you to take a minute and look at all the different cats that Angie created. We may notice that they are different colors and different textures. You can tell that those cats are fuzzy based on how she colored them with textures. You can also see that some cats have stripes. Some cats have multiple colors in their fur coat as well. I'm going to show you how to make a tabby cat. I also did a striped gray cat. Even if you look at a black cat, there is a little bit of gray in their fur. It's not just one solid color. There's usually multiple colors in our cat's fur and that's going to make it look more lifelike and realistic. You can also see all the fun different patterns in our cat's scarves as well as they are all different colors. So you can definitely pick a fun color for your scarf. You also do not need to do the same textures on your cat that I do. If you want to create yours completely different and you want to look at one of these photos to see how to color it, you are welcome to. It does not need to look exactly like mine. In fact, I encourage you to make it your own. You're also going to want to take a minute and look at the backgrounds. When she was making these, she posted them in a series, and she had started with blue backgrounds, worked her way through purples, and all the way through pink. So you can pick a nice colored background. I suggest choosing one of the colors she used for her snowy background as well. The supplies we're going to need for this week's art class are something to color with. Whatever you have at home will, will work just fine. All right, so last week we drew our winter cats. This week we are going to finish them by coloring them. So we gave them a nice dark outline. Today we're going to color them. I'm going to be using crayons. But if you remember in this sample that I already did, I used a Sharpie to outline everything and I used colored pencils to color it. So both I think are a great option. It just depends what you have at home and what you'd like to use. So this is my black kitty, but I'm going to make this one our orange kitty. So if you remember last class, I added tiger stripes and I did not outline them in black because I wanted to do them in orange so today I'm going to use my oranges to color my cat. So what I'm going to use for that is the base color of my cat is going to be just like a normal orange but the stripes are going to be kind of this red orange so it's a little darker and they contrast with each other. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in and I'm going to outline and color all of my stripes with my darker orange. So I kind of created stripes and texture in this cat too. And for my black cat, I used blue and black just to kind of add a little detail to it rather than just having a plain old black cat. Now that I'm done um, coloring in my cat's dark tiger stripes, I'm going to take my light orange and do the base. So I'm going to color in the whole face and in between these stripes and my feet, but I'm going to leave my cat's belly white. All 
right, so I'm all done coloring my cat's fur. I'm going to go in with pink and color the inside of their ears. And then I can do my eyes, whatever color I'd like. I'm going to color this time my eyes blue. Some cat's eyes are blue, some are brown, some are yellow, some are gray, some are green. All right, and I'm going to then color my cat's scarf, which I'm going to do like a light green, kind of a limey color. All right, my last step that I need to do is color my sky. In this sample, I did a light blue for my sky. In this sample, I'm going to do a purple. Our artist used a lot of different colors for their sky. They used purples, light blues, almost like a pink color. And I am being inspired by their work. So I'm going to do a purple sky. The tricky part is I need to make sure that I don't color any of my snowflakes purple. Just the sky. Remember, we're leaving our snowflakes white, our bellies white, and our ground white. And that is my winter cat. So once you're all done coloring your winter cat, I need you to take a photo of it. Go back to Google Classroom and add that photo to Google Classroom. Once I see your picture, I can give you credit for this week's assignment, but you will not get credit just for watching the video. You must turn in a picture. Once you have completed your drawing and coloring of your winter cat, I need you to take a photo of your completed work and go back to Google Classroom and add that photo to the assignment. You will not receive credit for simply watching the video. You need to turn in a photo of your work to receive credit for this art assignment. Also, please keep your drawing in a safe place with your previous art assignments from online learning. We will be returning soon and I will need you to bring in your artwork so we can use it to decorate the halls, share with our classmates, and all sorts of different things. So keep it safe so you can bring it in to school when we return.